What a joy to come your way again with the awakening word. We thank God for the diverse testimonies. I'm sure yours is next. By the grace of God, this week will usher you into your season of celebration over the arrogant, the proud, and those who thought is over with you. I'd like to bless your week from the book of Exodus, chapter 18, verse 11, the message translation. The Bible says, Now I know that God is greater than all gods because he has done these to all those who treated Israel arrogantly. This was the testimony of Mr. Jethro. Few thought he knew how his son-in-law Moses had been harassed for a long time by the nation of Egypt and by the king called Pharaoh. He knew the hardship upon his wife, upon his children, and all the challenges. And when Moses met Jethro afterwards, he shared with him the testimonies of God's intervention, God's strong hand, and how God humbled the entire nation of Egypt before the man who obeyed God, the man Moses. And here's a testimony of Jethro. Jethro wasn't as spiritual as Moses was, but everybody on earth knows the act of God. My first prayer for you, this week you will see the act of God. God will undertake on your behalf and he will surprise everybody, whoever knew your struggle, whoever knew your situations, and they will all testify like Jethro did. He says, and now I know that God is greater than all gods. I pray for you this week. Every other altars that resist you will bow to you. It will come clearer that your God is greater than all other gods because he will undertake for you. It may look like God is holding back for a long time. He's just waiting for the best time to give you a rising victory that no human being can deny. And your testimony will help other people to get strong and get better. And you'll be able to say, now I know that God is greater. Your God will show himself as the greatest above every other God because of what he will do to those who treated you arrogantly and those who resisted you or deny you space or life opportunities. I'm praying that each day of this week shall be given to you as seed and shall be given to you as bread. And this very week, those who treated you wrongly will be compelled to honor you because of the mercy of God and the grace of God that undertakes for you. All men will testify, including you. You all declare, now I know that God had greatly fought for me. This is your winning week. And this is your blessed week. It will be a great joy to hear from you again of the great things God is doing. God bless and keep you strong. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.